Rue here, and this is, I believe, Minecrafters Companion Hall number 17. And this is. Well. <clears throat> it cost. Uh, the real total price for it is 90, but I paid 72 for it. Well, so you know, for the club inspired discounts and its own discount. Because it was like, it wasn't like a showstopper, but it was just a collection. But. seal the envelope so I can reuse this. Very nice. <laughs> yes, um, <clears throat> let's just lay it all out and I'll show you. So we have, first up is the shawl duet in the duet in pad of the color green series. That's that one. Then we have Elbor. I mean, I think it's called that. Elbor? I have no idea. Don't do that. Okay, Summer Banquet. Stargazer. Look at this color. Willow River. Rose Cloud. Pink Grapefruit. Dust, d Dusk Orchid. That's pretty. Pumpkin Patch Pomegranate Nebula Let's move it over here. Can see them better in the Maybe. Uh -huh. And last but not least, anime. Ink. Anemone. Could be anemone. Yeah. Anemone. Those. Things you find confusing, isn't it? Maybe. Anyway, that's nice. We didn't reseal this one. So then I can use it for other mostly things. Okay, so these are the very lovely Color Bloom Ink Pad Collection. And yeah, I couldn't resist. Because <laughs> like, just look at them, they look so beautiful. Is how these work as uh, the uh, demos done on um, the uh, the crafters TV. It's um, put it down, spread some water on it, and the because it puts down one color, then the uh, the secondary color or so or or whatever because there's obviously more than one color in them. More than two colors, I think. Mm. But um, it blooms, hence color bloom, after you spritz water on it. So, I guess we can do that. Now I'll ink smush something. So, uh, right back. 
Okay, so I took all the plastic off. Each of them have a uh, peel here thing as well. So uh, this is just what it looks like on the bottom. Like the exact, almost the exact same thing. Slightly different, I guess. In the, uh, well, let me check on the other one. Hang on, let me put that back on for a sec. Let's see. I cut my nails recently. So this is a bit more tedious. Yeah, it looks like it's basically the same thing. The one that I accidentally put up the bottom one. But, uh, yes. I believe the only thing that's different it doesn't have the barcode on the bottom. Because, like, well, if you're wondering, the, uh, the product code is that. But, like, you can write, it just has this on the bottom. It says, do it ink pad color bloom. Reactive hybrid water based ink. React with water to see two colors appear to give beautiful artistic effects. Perfect for applying directly to watercolor card blending and stencil. For a variety of effects, the ink can be reacted with water straight after application, or for greater contrast in colors, ink can be allowed to dry or heat set before applying water. So, I'll show you what else is coming on the glass back. So, <clears throat> yes, in the next um, haul, I uh, I bought um, another twelve by twelve. You know, these stickers look really the same, don't they? Hopefully it is actually different. Well, I think Pat looks different. Alright, don't know why it looks... I don't know if it's supposed to have the same sticker on the side. But who knows? I certainly don't. <laughs> so when we do Hellbore... These two look similar too. Hmm. How about start as you're kind of sore? I'll use those two. Okay, for now we'll put these off to the side. And we'll use this. So why don't we... Go like that. And then... Go like that. And get the switzer out. Make sure I'm aiming, not at my face. <laughs> I don't know whether I spilled too much or not, but we'll see. It's supposed to come out with some... Mm. I might just go to the water, but we'll see. Um, it's these two. So it's definitely maybe some... Well, it looks like some purple is coming out of this one. Ooh, some blue here. And some... 
reddish or pinkish kind of color. That looks pretty cool there, doesn't it? Let me just... Um, this, technically, is not watercolor cardstock, which is probably not good, but... This 200 GSM, I'm using the uh, fluid side as opposed to the textured side.
I don't know. Mm. Pinks and purples. Um, kind of orangey and pinkish. Oh, that sounds that color kind of. I'm using tongue. <clears throat> anyway, I think that's pretty good thing. There. It should be interesting. And this is just, I guess, to die cut out of it's not really much of anything, really. <laughs> but, I mean, it's cool. You'd probably see it properly with, uh, if I colored in a stamped image or stamped with it, then, then, uh, it, spritzed it, then kind of thinged it, you know, ink. It said it, so I might show something else, but this is just to show the different colors in one ink pad. Or in the one, two, three, four ink pads on this piece of paper. Anyway. It's like it's got different. Um, that looks like a bean. Uh, that's kind of like a galaxy kind of thing going on there. I mean, or it's you know, kind of weird, but still, still pretty cool looking. And like, I just, I'm not sure what I die cut out of it. Maybe butterflies? Plants? Some kind? Flowers? Scales? The sheets? Anyway, that looks, it was kind of like a. A UFO from a you know, saucer. Okay. Anyway, that's just weird. Um, still, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I think I'm gonna swatch this though. On my book. Anyway, yes, that is these. Okay. I'm not sure which color I'd put, but, you know, like, you know, if I like putting my, um, ink pads in rainbow order, you know, no idea. Maybe this way? Okay. Well, that has some yellow in it, I think. Reddish kind of colors there. Okay, we'll just go like that. And that's sort of color and reddish. Okay, so this is, I guess, the end of home number 17. Number 18, I did order. Technically, it's like order number 26. But anyway, a bit of a spoiler. The next haul will be my first ever full collection that I bought. It was very expensive. Probably won't ever do it much over again, but it was the Enchanted Ocean collection with mermaids in it. So I can resist, you know. I do love mermaids. So, uh, wanna have a look over there. See? There. And there. But anyway, Oh, and there too. <laughs> but, um. Yeah. 
Probably easier if I just took it off the stand, but yeah. Huh. Um, so yes, so that that is that. Um, I'll go on tangent. I'm gonna speed through bits that I can if I can't go. Sit back and relax. <laughs> um, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Leave a like, for notifications. Over now.